Hi, Room 12. So last week we learned about digraphs. If you remember, digraphs are two letters that come together to make one new sound. Last week we did the digraph TH. Now we're going to be focusing on SH. When you put the letter S and the letter H next to each other and they stick together, they make the sound sh. Try it with me. Sh. Perfect. You can see the digraph sh at the beginning of a word or at the end. Listen carefully. Get your mouth ready to see the word sheep. Sheep. I hear sh at the beginning. Now get your mouth ready to see the word ship. Ship. Where do you hear the sound sh? Right in the beginning. And two more words where you'll hear sh in the beginning are shark and shell. Two other words that have the digraph sh have them at the end are dish and fish. Notice you hear the sound sh at the end of the word. Think about some other words you might know that have the digraph sh or the sound sh in them. Let's build a couple of words together. So, I have my foundations board. Unfortunately, I can't move more than one letter, more than one of the same letter at a time. So, let's build some words we know that have the sound sh either at the beginning or the end with no letters repeated. So, let's start with the word from the beginning. We know that the two letters that make the sound sh are s and H. So we'll start with those. Does anyone think of a word they know that has the sound sh at the beginning? Perfect. This is one of Miss G's favorite things to do. Shop. Shop. Let's stretch those sounds out really slow. Sh, ah, ah, ah. What vowel makes the sound ah? Right. O octopus ah. Sha. And what's the next sound we hear? Sha. P. P. Perfect. The consonant P makes the sound P. Great job. Let's blend and tap those sounds together. There are three sounds in the word shop. Get your thumb, pointer, middle, and ring finger ready. Sh, ah, p, shop. One sound at a time. Remember when we tap and blend, you say the sound that the letter makes, not the name of the letter. Sh, ah, p, shop. Fabulous. I'm going to leave my SH here. Let's see if we can build another word that begins with the sound sh and the digraph SH. How about, I know, ship. Sh, eh, eh, eh. What vowel makes the sound i? Perfect. I, itch, i. Sh, i, p. Ship. Now I hear this sound p again. That's the consonant p. Let's get ready to tap the three sounds in the word ship. Sh, i, p. Ship. Perfect job. Now let's get creative. Whoops. 
let's move our S and our H over toward the end of our word. Think in your head of a word you know or a word that we talked about today that ends with the digraph SH. So you should hear SH as the last sound leaving your mouth. Ooh, that's a really good one. What about the word wish? Wish. Let's stretch those sounds. Wah, wah, wah. What consonant gives us the sound w? W win w. Perfect. W. Let's stretch our sounds to find the missing letter. W. I. Sh. The sound that I'm missing is I. Which vowel makes the sound I? That's right, I. Let's get ready to tap our sounds. Remember, you're only tapping three times because the word wish only has three sounds because when we put S and H together, you know they make one sound. Let's tap and blend slowly. W, I, sh, wish. Try one more time on your own. W, I, sh, wish. Perfect job. Think of a word that rhymes with wish. All three letters at the end stay the same, but the first letter will change. Does anyone have a word that they're thinking of? <gasps> That's a great one. I was thinking the same. Fish. Get your mouth ready to say fish. I hear the sound f at the beginning of fish. What consonant makes the sound f? That's right, f. F, fun, f. And in this case, it's f, fish. Here we go. F. I, sh, fish. Great job. We'll put our letters back where they belong, just like as if they were our magnet tile boards in our classroom. Okay. Moving back to our slides, we're going to read a few sentences. There are six sentences here. I will read two with you, then you will read the rest on your own and create your word lists. Let's get my marking pen ready to mark all the words where I see the digraph SH. Listen for the sound SH as I read. I brush my hair after I shower. Can anyone tell me where they heard the word sh or saw the letters sh sticking together? <gasps> Perfect. Brush. And you're going to box the digraph sh. This column has sh at the end of the word, and this column has sh at the beginning. So brush, where is SH in that word? That's right, it's at the end. So I'm going to put the word brush as best as I can with this tricky pen here. Fabulous. Brush. There was one more word in that sentence that had the digraph SH. I know I heard the sound sh somewhere. That's right, in the word shower. I'm underlining and boxing just my digraph. What column should I put the word shower in? That's right, over here because SH is at the beginning of the word shower.
Amazing. I think you're all masters at identifying and reading words with digraphs. So I'm going to let you do the rest of the sentences on your own and sort the digraphs. I cannot wait to see your hard work. Have fun.